Today, let's go ahead and set up the Galaxy A23 for the first time. So I just took this out of the box and inserted my dual SIM cards and SD card. So let's go ahead and boot it up for the first time. So the power button is obviously on the right hand side that doubles up as the fingerprint sensor. So go ahead and press and hold that power button for about three to five seconds. You'll feel a slight vibration and see the Samsung logo and that basically means your phone is booting. Now because we have SIM cards inside the phone, we're going to need to enter the SIM pins. And then now we can access the welcome screen. Now on this page, go ahead and choose your language. Mine is currently set to English United Kingdom by default. If you want to change your language, you can tap on that and then choose any other language. But for me, I want to leave it at English United Kingdom. So tap on start. And then of course you need to read and accept the end user license agreement, the privacy policy. And if you want to be sending diagnostic data automatically, you can check that, but you don't really have to. So go ahead and tap on agree. And then of course it will show you all the default permissions that I enabled. You can disable the ones you don't want to. For instance, if you want to disable location, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to disable nearby devices, you can go ahead and do that. But this is all stuff you can change inside the operating system. So change the things you need to change and then tap on agree. If you have a Wi-Fi network, then go ahead and connect to yours. And since I have my SIM cards inserted, it's going to tell me my service provider setup needs to restart the phone. So you can choose to restart the phone. Enter PIN once again. And then on this next page, you'll be requested to copy apps and data from a previous backup. Now this backup could be either in your Google Drive account, they could be in your Samsung Cloud account, or maybe even from an SD card or any memory device. So if you want to copy apps and data, tap on next. If you just want to start afresh on this phone, then tap on don't copy, which is what I'll do. On this next page, you can go ahead and add your Google account. So simply tap here and add your email address and then enter your password and that should add your Google account into your phone. You can also do this later if you want to. So if you want to skip this for now, tap on skip. And then of course it will tell you you cannot download apps or access the Play Store without a Google account. Go ahead and tap on skip because like I said, we can do that later. And next is the Google services page. You can read all that and then tap on accept. And on this next page where it says protect your phone is where you can choose the security for your phone. You can either use a password, a pin, a pattern, or one of these biometric security models like face recognition or fingerprint. Again, we can set that up later. So tap on skip and then confirm to skip anyway. Next page, you can add your Samsung account to your phone by signing in with your Samsung credentials. If you don't want to do that, tap on skip. But of course, you can do this later in the settings. So tap on skip once again. And it says I'm all set up. I'll tap on finish. And that's it. That's basically my first time setup of the Samsung Galaxy A23. Yeah, that's really it. So Spotify, Netflix and Facebook will come pre-installed on your Galaxy A23. Anyway, that's the first boot of my Galaxy A23. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.